interview questions and answers. Pipe fitter interview questions and answers. Question 1. How can flanges be classified based on pipe attachment? Answer. Flanges can be classified based on pipe attachment as slip-on. The slip-on type flanges are attached by welding inside as well as outside. These flanges are of forged construction. Socket weld. The socket weld flanges are welded on one side only. These are used for small bore lines only. Screwed. The screwed on flanges are used on pipelines where welding cannot be carried out. Lap joint. The lap joint flanges are used with stub ends. The stub ends are welded with pipes and flanges are kept loose over the same. Welding neck. The welding neck flanges are attached by butt welding to the pipe. These are used mainly for critical services where the weld joints need radiographic inspection. Blind. The blind flanges are used to close the ends which need to be reopened. Reducing. The reducing flanges are used to connect between larger and smaller sizes without using a reducer. In case of reducing flanges, the thickness of flange should be that of the higher diameter. Integral. Integral flanges are those which are cast along with the piping component or equipment. Question 2. How can flanges be classified based on pressure temperature ratings? Answer. Flanges are classified based on pressure temperature ratings as Hash A. 150 Hash B. 300 Hash C. 400 Hash D. 600 Hash E. 900 Hash F. 1500 Hash G. 2500 Pressure temperature rating carts in the standard ASMEB 16.5 specify the non-shock working gauge pressure to which the flange can be subjected to at a particular temperature. Question 3. How can flanges be classified based on facing? Answer. Flanges are classified based on facing as Flat face. FF. Raised face. RF. Tongue and groove. TG. Male and female. M. F. Ring type joint. R. T. J. Question 4. How can flanges be classified based on face finish? Answer. Flanges are classified based on face finish as Smooth finish. Serrated finish. Question 5. Where the smooth finish flange and serrated finish flange finds its use? Answer. The smooth finish flange is provided when metallic gasket is provided and serrated finish flange is provided when non-metallic gasket is provided. Question 6. What are the types of serrated finish provided on flange face? Answer. Concentric. Spiral. Phonographic. Question 7. How the serration on flanges is specified? Answer. The serration on flanges is specified by the number, which is the arithmetic average rough height, AARH. Question 8. Where the concentric serration is insisted for face finish? Answer. Concentric serration are insisted for face finish where the fluid being carried has very low density and can find leakage path through cavity. Question 9. How the gaskets are classified based on the type of construction? Answer. Based on the type of construction, gaskets are classified as Full face Spiral wound metallic Ring type Metal jacketed Inside bolt circle Question 10. What is the most commonly used material for gasket? Answer. Compressed asbestos fiber Question 11. Which type of gasket is recommended for high temperature and high pressure application? Answer. Spiral wound metallic gasket. Question 12. What are the criteria for selection of MOC of spiral wound metallic gasket winding material? Answer. The selection of material of construction for gasket winding depends upon the corrosive nature and concentration of fluid being carried, the operating temperature of the fluid, the relative cost of alternate winding material, Question 13. 
What are the most common materials used for spiral wound metallic gasket winding? Answer. The most commonly used material for spiral wound metallic gasket winding is Austinitic Stainless Steel 304 with Asbestos Filler Austinitic Stainless Steel 316 with Asbestos Filler Austinitic Stainless Steel 321 with Asbestos Filler Question 14. Which material is used as filler material for spiral wound gasket in case of high temperature services? Answer. For very high temperature services, graphite filler is used. Question 15. What is centering ring in connection to spiral wound gasket? Answer. Spiral wound gaskets are provided with carbon steel external ring called centering ring. Question 16. What will be the AARH finish on flange face for using spiral wound gasket? Answer. 125-250 AARH finish. Question 17. On which type of flanges the use of spiral wound gasket are restricted? Answer. Rating spiral wound gasket on flanges other hash ASMEB 16.5 does not recommend the use of 150 than welding neck and lap joint type. Question 18. Up to what temperature limits the low strength carbon steel bolts should not be used for flanged joints? Answer. C. Degree C or below 28 degrees flanged joints using low strength carbon steel shall not be used above 200. Question 19. How the pipe fittings are classified based on end connections? Answer. Pipe fittings are classified based on end connection as socket weld fittings. Screwed end fittings, beveled end or butt weld fittings, spigot socket fittings, buttress end fittings. Question 20. Up to what temperature the carbon steel materials shall be used? Answer. Carbon steel materials shall be used for temperature up to 425 C degree. Question 21. Which material is used for temperature above 426 C degree? Answer. Alloy steel materials shall be used for temperature above 426 C degree. Question 22. Which type of material is used for corrosive fluid? Answer. Stainless steel materials shall be used for corrosive fluid. Question 23. Which type of piping materials are used for drinking water, instrument air, etc.? Answer. Galvanized steel materials shall be used for drinking water, instrument air and knee lines, LP. Question 24. What is the difference between pipe and tube? Answer. Pipe is identified by NB and thickness is defined by schedule whereas tube is identified by OD and its thickness is BWG, Birmingham wire gauge or 1 one hundredth inch. Question 25. From which size onwards NB of pipe is equal to out of pipe? Answer. From the size 14 inches and onwards NB equals OD of pipe. Question 26. What should be the radius of long radius elbow? Answer. 1.5D, where D is the diameter of the pipe. Question 27. What should be the radius of short radius elbow? Answer. 1D, where D is the diameter of the pipe. Question 28. What is the basis of using of short radius and long radius elbow? Answer. Long radius elbow are used for small pressure drop whereas short radius elbow are used for high pressure drops. For catalyst flows very long radius elbows are used. Question 29. Normally where do we use the following? 1. Eccentric reducers. 2. Concentric reducers. Answer. Eccentric reducers equals pump suction to avoid cavitation, to maintain elevation, bop, in rack. Concentric reducers equals pump discharge, vertical pipeline, etc. Question 30. Concentric reducer is used in pump suction. Yes, no. Explain. Answer. No. Air pockets may form if concentric reducer is used at pump suction, which results in cavitation and cause damage to pump. 
To avoid this problem, eccentric reducer with flat side up FSU is used in pump suction. Question 31. Where the ERW spiral and longitudinal pipes are used? Answer. Use depends upon the availability of pipes. Nothing functional difference. Question 32. Where the ERW and seamless pipes are used? Answer. Above 18 inches ERW pipes are used. Below 18 inches seamless pipes are used. Seamless pipes can sustain higher temperature and pressure. Question 33. What is the main use of ASTM A53 and A106GRB pipes? Answer. ASTM A53 pipes are mainly used for utility services whereas A106GR. B pipes are used for high pressure and high temperature services. Question 34. From which side of pipe will you take a branch connection? Answer. When fluid is gas, air or steam and cryogenic service, top side. When fluid is liquid, bottom side. Question 35. Why don't we take a branch for cryogenic service from bottom side though the fluid is in liquid state? Answer. There is the chance of ice formation during normal operation and since ice flows from the bottom of the pipe it will block the branch pipe connection. Question 36. Why do we provide high point vent, HPV, and low point drain, LPD, in piping? Answer. HPV, for removing air during hydrotest. LPD, for draining water after conducting hydrotest. Question 37. What do you mean by jacketed piping? Answer. Piping which is recognized as providing the most uniform application of heat to the process, as well as maintaining the most uniform processing temperatures where steam tracing is not capable of maintaining the temperature of fluid constant. Usually used for molten sulfur, polymer service. Question 38. What is the minimum distance to be maintained between two welds in a pipe? Answer. The thumb rule is that the minimum distance between adjacent butt welds is 1D. If not, it is never closer than 1 minus 1 half. This is supposedly to prevent the overlap of haze. Minimum spacing of circumferential welds between center lines shall not be less than four times the pipe wall thickness or 25 millimeters, whichever is greater. Question 39. What do you mean by IBR and which lines comes under IBR purview? Answer. IBR, Indian Boiler Regulation Act. Steam lines with conditions listed below comes under IBR purview. Lines for which design pressure is 3.5 kg per square. CM and above. Line size above 10 inches having design pressure 1.0 kg per square. CM and above. Boiler feed water lines to steam generator, condensate lines to steam generator and flash drum. Question 40. What are weld lead and socket? And where they are used? Answer. Weld lead and socket lead are basically self-reinforced fittings. Weld lead is used for butt weld branch connection where standard T is not available due to size restrictions and the piping is of critical, high pressure service. Socolet is used for socket welding branch connection, which require reinforcing pad. Question 41. What is the normal upstream and downstream straight length of orifice flow meter? Answer. Upstream 15D. Downstream 5D. 